Okay, this is the second method for doing surface areas. Um, they, the reason this is needed is when we move on to other shapes, we can't, we either have to consider each area separately or we can do the following little trick. And I'll show you the trick for this one. It starts the same with the cuboid. Let's check we get the same answer. So if I take the front and the back still, so the front and the back, we're going to take those as if they were just rectangles. Okay, so we take the two rectangles off the front and the back. So we've got two of them. What the rest of the shape is, is it becomes a tube. Like this. And this tube has a depth of six. And we've got the distance all the way around the inside edge, which is the same as the edges of these two pieces. So to calculate the surface area, what we can do is we can effectively roll this out into one wide strip, which is made up of six centimeter high and 12 centimeter and eight centimeter sections. We've got a 12, an 8, a 12, and an 8. If we add them together, we get the whole surface area of the tube part. So let's do front and back first. So front and back is going to be uh, 8 times 12, which is 20, and both of them is 40. 8 times 12 is not. not. 8 times 12 is 96. So we get 192 centimetres squared. Then the tube is the lengths of those added up. It's the perimeter of this rectangle. And the perimeter of that rectangle is 2 times the width plus the length or add them all the lengths up. So let's do 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 8 and that's 20 centimetres. So the area of all of this, the area of the tube is the perimeter multiplied by the length. That perimeter is 20 centimetres and the length of the shape is 6. And that is 20, 20, 20, 40, sorry. 40. So the perimeter is 40 times the 6 of the height, the area of this piece it's going to be 240 centimetres squared. And we add those two together to get 2 plus 2 4 0, 432 centimetres squared. The same answer we got from the other method. So this was by doing surfaces, each surface separately. And this is by making the tube, flattening the tube out, and then doing the front and the back. So let's come down into the right one. And we're going to do the same technique. The technique for this one is first of all look at the front and the back, and this time let's take the triangle as the front. So we've got a front, two triangles like that, where they are eight centimeter, uh, three centimeters high, eight centimeters wide. So if we remember yesterday, we were doing the area by splitting it from a rectangle. The rectangle is three by eight. So the area of the rectangle is three times eight, which is 24 centimeters squared. 
And to get the area of the triangle for the front and the back, we half it. This bit is the same as that bit. This bit is the same as that bit. So the area of the rectangle half it is 12 centimeters squared. So front and back is 12 plus 12, or 24 centimeters squared. Now we need to look at the tube. And the tube looks a bit like this. There's my tube. And the tube at the bottom is 8 centimetres. This sloping edge and this sloping edge are the same, and they're both 5. This sloping edge and this sloping edge are both 5. So the perimeter on the end is 5 plus 5 plus 8, which is 80 centimetres. To get the area of the tube, area of the tube. We've got this 18 centimetres, the perimeter, and we multiply it by its length going back, which is 7 centimetres. Grab your calculator, and we do 18 times 7, which is 126 centimetres squared. So the total surface area is the sum of those two, which is 150. 126 plus 24. And that's 150 centimetres squared. So this is a, an alternate method when you're not using cuboids, you should be able to do some of the level 3 questions now.